Hi guys, Slash112 of DreamViews.com here and this is a tutorial on the Wake and Just Lucid Dream technique. Um, now before I get started with this I'll explain that it's not exactly a step by step guide. Um, I could give you that in 10 seconds. You wake up and when you go back to sleep you stay still and keep your mind awake and you'll be in a lucid dream. But if you want to do this properly and have any success, you need to understand how it works, uh, the stuff behind it. So firstly, for those of you who don't know what a lucid dream is, it's a, it's a dream where you're aware that it's a dream. You see, that kicks in your conscious mind and that allows you to sort of take control of the dream. You see, when you're awake, it's your conscious mind that allows you to control your actions. It's the same in a dream. When you become lucid, i.e. when you're aware that it's a dream, you you become conscious and it allows you to control your actions in the dream. So you can do loads of fun stuff. Um, now as for this technique, um, unlike dream induced lucid dream, which is where you become lucid in the dream, part way through the dream, wake induced is where you go straight into a lucid dream. Now, this is what makes it so complicated, this particular technique, um, and that's because you need to go into a REM period. And what REM period is, rapid eye movement, it's part of the sleep cycle where you dream. It's, it's, the, it's the most part of your sleep cycle where you're actually having dreams. You can have non-REM dreams, but you don't tend to remember them much and they're not that vivid and we kind of want to ignore that for the sake of lucid dreaming. So REM sleep is what we're interested in. So for this technique you need to go straight into a REM period and to do that you actually need to wake up from a REM period and then fall asleep back into it and that's the difficult thing with this technique. You see, the, there's three ways that you could wake up from a, a dream. Uh, first way would be to wake up naturally, because when you, when you do wake up naturally, you do wake from a dream. It's the natural time to wake up. But you're going to want to wake yourself up with an alarm clock most of the time. Um, one way is to judge it. And usually a REM cycle start well the REM period starts every ninety minutes. Um the, the periods get longer but it's generally ninety minutes, ninety minutes, ninety minutes from the start point. So you could judge it based on that if you're if you know when you're roughly gonna fall asleep. Because some people you know, it takes a while for them to fall asleep, so you need to think about that when you're setting your time as well. So it, it it's difficult but it's possible. The other way is you can get alarms that can uh, detect your REM cycle. Uh, you can get them for your smartphone or you can get specialised alarm clocks for it. Um, and that works as well. So that's the three ways. Uh, so you wake up from this dream. You can wait up to maybe four hours I would say. You could probably go a bit longer but I you wouldn't really want to. Um, so the two times that you could do it is either an afternoon nap or what's known as wake back to bed. Uh, this is where you wake up f like through the night and then you wait maybe half an hour to to a couple of hours and you know just do whatever you do, read. I mean, some people like to read up on their lucid dreaming so that that's in their mind, uh, so that they're more likely to have a, a lucid dream. That's a good way to use your time when you're doing a wake back to bed. Um, so that that's the thing. You've got afternoon nap and then you've got wake back to bed. Either way works fine. Uh, some people say afternoon nap works better, but I don't think it really matters. Um, so you wake up, do that, 
then when you're falling back asleep, you need you need to keep yourself still. And the idea is to get your body asleep, but your mind to stay awake. Um, so to send your body to sleep, you need to totally relax yourself, relax your body, shut your eyes, forget about your body, just forget about your body, forget that it exists, don't think that you need to keep still, oh, um, am I swallowing, blah, 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 don't think about all that crap, just forget your body even exists, only have your mind in existence. So, one good way to do that is to visualise stuff, like visualise your dream scene, uh, that's a, that's that's probably the best way to do it. I mean, some people like to talk to themselves about the fact that they're about to go into a lucid dream, but you could visualise a dream. And it doesn't mean you go into that dream, it's just a way to keep your mind awake. But while you're doing that visualisation, you do still want to be reminding yourself that you're going to be going into a dream and that you're going to keep yourself awake in that dream, your mind awake. So you want to remind yourself, like, okay, I'm falling asleep, I'm about to go into a dream, I'm going to be in a dream, I'm going to be in a dream. Um, you keep that cycle of thought as long as possible, right till the point that you fall asleep. And the hope is that when you're in the dream, you'll still be reminding yourself that you're going into a dream. So you'll know that it's a dream. You will already have known that it's a dream that you're in, so that's... That's a proper transition into a lucid dream. That's waking just lucid dream. Going straight into a lucid dream. So, that's that. Now, the, the other thing is, when you do this, you might end up going into sleep paralysis before you get into the dream. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it can happen. Uh, if that does happen to you, don't worry. Um, the worst thing you can do in sleep paralysis is worry. Um, a lot of people think it's a horrible thing to, to go through, but it's it's only horrible if you think it's going to be. Sleep paralysis um, is kind of like going into a dream, but you're still kind of awake. Um, in a dream, your body paralyzes, uh, that's rematonia, and your 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 mind still works away. It's the same when you're in sleep paralysis. Your body's paralysed and you might have hallucin hallucinations much like a dream. Except somehow you're still awake. It's, it's a weird thing but uh, it's alright. Those hallucinations are based on your thoughts. So just think happy thoughts. Think, oh paradise, oh this will be dead fun. When I had sleep paralysis, I just thought, oh, this is going to be dead fun, let's have some fun with this. That's all to think, fun, 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 just think that. Just keep that right in your mind if you have sleep paralysis. Don't worry at all. It's great fun, as long as you let it be fun. And also, if you go into sleep paralysis, don't let yourself forget that you're going to be going into a lucid dream. You still need to keep your mind active. Um, so, whatever you go through in this transition... Keep your mind awake, that's that's the main thing. Now, I was going to say more, but you know what? I think that's actually enough. So, I hope that this will help you. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me uh, on dreamviews.com and slash 112. Uh, feel free to message me on there. I'll I'm happy to answer any questions you want because I may have missed something out in this video I usually do and I usually kick myself for it but hey, who cares right, so I'll see you around goodbye